It's the middle of June, it's getting hot out, and it's time to heat up in here. We're gonna go four by two today, you got four circuits, and they are gonna be two exercises each circuit. We're gonna bounce back and forth, six minutes a piece, so it's 24 minutes of total work like we've been doing for a while now, but you're hardly gonna stop except for in between each one of these. So we got swings and push-ups, six rounds of 10 of each of those, and then we're gonna go to rows and running on a box. We're gonna go 20 rows, 30 seconds on the box. Keep going for six minutes, get as many as you can. Planks and band walks. You're gonna need a band for this one uh, to step on, so a large stretch band. And then we have side planks to med ball, clean, and press. So today we're gonna need a kettlebell for the swings. We'll then need something for the rows, whether it's a dumbbell or a band, something along those lines, a six inch box or step to run on. Uh, and then for your band walks, you can use the same band that you were gonna use for your rows. And then we'll finish with med ball clean to press, which you'll need a med ball or a 20 pound, 30 pound dumbbell. Here we go. All right, as you know, the warm-ups we like to hit a lot of the same movements, muscles, body parts uh, that we're gonna be hitting in the workout. So we are gonna start out with just some uh, neural hamstring stretch. So pop that toe, stick your rear back. So when we get into that kettlebell swing, as we know, we're truly trying to focus on that hinging of our hips when we do this. Good, then we're gonna lie on our side. Knees are gonna tuck in. Stack those hands on top, let that head relax. Thoracic spine. Blow out all that air. And my eyes are following my hand. If those are easy, up and all the way around and back around. Good, and let's switch sides. We wanna make sure that we're not getting any of this rotation from our low back, but from our mid back. <laughs> Let's flip it over, hands and knees. We got push-ups, so we're gonna get those scaps nice and fired up, our rotator cuff. Scaps together, scaps apart. Scaps together, scaps apart. You can do this in a push-up position, I just find that it ends up becoming a little bit too high threshold for what we're trying to do, which is just to turn on those stabilizer muscles that we have going on. And then everybody knows my affinity for quad hip flexor stretches. So right knee down on the ground, directly under the ear, directly under the hip. Get this left foot out. We can get some ankle dorsiflexion on this left side if we let that knee go in front. I'm gonna squeeze my right cheek and reach up and over. We're gonna go for a minute here. So I can also take this femur, kick that foot to the side, put it in internal rotation. Again, squeeze. Belly button's tight, I'm sucking it in. Today's workout's gonna happen fast. You'll get that little bit of break in between each one, not much, um, nothing too crazy but we're not gonna stop. So I promised you when we started these back in April that, that we would progress these a little bit further. Uh, and today is gonna be one of those days that if you look back and see how far we've come, let's switch sides. If you look back and see how far we've come together, we've made some great strides during this time. Um, it's been tough, it's been a challenge, but things are starting to get back to normal for all of us. And uh, it's just great that, that we've been able to have this time together to do these exercises. So I struggle with internal rotation on my left side of my hip, I always have. So this is a great way for me to get some easy internal rotation stretch in. Reaching up and over, 30 seconds. Remember, you can put your foot up on a box, get that quad in there while you're doing it as well.
Get that right knee to go in front, little ankle dorsiflexion. 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, good. Now, we'll get ready for those rows. Tension those scaps together. So it's basically the opposite of the scap push-ups. Okay, so my pressure is not gonna be going when I'm going protraction. I'm going retraction, bringing those together, staying out of my neck. Getting some internal, external rotation of that shoulder as I do this. And then I'm going up, because we got those cleans to press at the end. And then hit some external rotation. Couple neck rolls. Let's go the other way. Five, four, three, two. Let's get your kettlebells for swings. Let's go. Here we go. So we're gonna start out, we got 10 swings, 10 push-ups. Round one, we got about 20 seconds in between here. Ten seconds, we're back into it. Five, four, three, two, one, here we go. push-ups. Everything's tight here. Everything's tight. Belly button. Two rounds in of six. Two rounds in of six. Less than 20 seconds, 15 seconds till we get going. 10 seconds till we get going through the hips here, through the hips, not through the low back. Four, two, one, here we go. Push-ups again. Halfway there, halfway there. seconds. On to the fourth round. Four, two, one. Through the hips. Plank at the top. We can get creative here. One leg up. <sighs> 
squeezing that other glute. Two rounds left of this. First round of the four by two. Rows and box runs after this. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. You're gonna get tough. Hips here, hips tall at the top. Squeeze the abs. Ten swings, twenty push-ups left. Ten and ten. Ten and ten. We got twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Last round, last round. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. I'm jumping to get the bell up. I'm jumping up, pushing through the ground without leaving the ground. I know that sounds odd, but I'm driving all my energy through my heels. Good. 10 push-ups, and we're on to the second part of this four by two. The opposite. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Whew, nice job. Coming up to rows and box runs now. Let's get ready. So here we go, 20 rows, 30 seconds of box runs. Six times, here we go. This could be with a dumbbell bent over. 30 seconds. I'm leading with my right foot on this one. 10 seconds in. 15 in. Pump your arms just like we're running. We're not running a 100 meter dash. We're pacing ourselves. Three, two, one, good. Back to the rows, 20 of them again. Here we go. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Way through. Under 10 seconds. Five, six, and good. Round three coming up. Round three coming up. Starting in five, three, two, one. Driving from our mid back, not our low back. We're not arching. Twenty, good. Back up and left foot. Twenty. 
10 in. Twenty in. One little ten second break here. We're back at it. Here we go. Left foot again. Three, two, one. Our right's hanging out about 151 for me right now. Heart rate's a funny thing. Those kettlebell swings will usually get me up to about 170. Something like this, I'll hang out about 150. Everybody's a little bit different with how they react to different stimulus. Three, two, one. Round five, round five. You guys are doing great. Round five of six of the second part of this four by two. Two, one. Twenty. Back up. We're gonna go right foot again. Two, one. Turning the hips a little bit more. Facing left at the top of the box. Facing right when I get off. I was talking so much I got myself messed up. Four, three, two, one. Last round of rows. Here we go. 20 of them. Good. Lead with the left. Turn the hips to the right. Ten in. Five. Ten. Five. Four, three, two, one. Nice work. That is the sixth round of this. We're moving on planks and band walks. Here we go. So we'll need that same band that we had for our rows for our plank walks. So we're going 30 second plank here. Shoulders over our elbows, tucking that chin. That's why I'm not looking at you right now. Squeeze that booty, try to level yourself out as much as you can on your own. A mirror is nice, a partner is even better. Four, three, two, one. Get up, grab that band, go ahead and step on it and pull it up. We're walking side to side. You should feel this in your glutes. Halfway there. Five, four, three, two, one. Back down into a plank. Six rounds. Six. 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, grab your band. Here we go, back and forth. If you want, five out, five back. Five, four, trying to keep those toes turned in. Two, one, third round of the plank coming up. Seven, six, five, four, push that ground away. Three, two, back up on the band. No band, if you don't have anything, sit low, walk side to side. Feel those glutes burn, nothing in your low back. Coming up on five, going back to a plank in four, three, two, one. Let's go top of the push up here. Over halfway through, push through the ground. Shoulders out over your hands. You don't wanna be back here in your neck. Belly button's tight, raising it to the ceiling. Nothing in the neck, we're halfway. Squeeze those triceps in to your armpits. Five, four, three, two, one. Back up, going back to the band. Add a little bit more resistance this time. Cross it over. Those glutes should be on fire. Should be rocks after this lead with the heel, not with the toe. Five, four, three, two, one. Fifth round of planks. Halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. Back up, we have one more plank, two more bands. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. back down, last plank. Remember this about our glutes, that when my legs are straight, they act as internal rotators. So they move my, the ball and my hip out. When I bend my knees below 90 degrees, they act as internal rotators. So they help facilitate internal rotation or the ball moving in, in your ball, in the ball and socket in your hip joint. Four, three, two, one, so use this last round here. Let's sit and keeping the feet flat. I want you to feel this little golf ball over here on the side, pushing through. Give yourself a little manual push. And let's switch. Notice which side does it really good. Notice which side you struggle with a little bit. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and good. Nice job. That's three by two. Last one coming up for four by two.
All right, here we go. So we got three rounds, two minutes a piece, side plank, side plank, med ball clean to press. So here we go. Right side, side plank, getting up here. Ears are in line with my shoulders, shoulders are in line with my hips, hips are in line with my ankles, and I'm gonna flip it over. Three, two, one. All right, let's grab that med ball. Give you a little bit of transition time this time. Okay, so for this one, it's gonna be clean press for 20 seconds. So starting on the ground, as many as you can get in three, two, one. I clean it up, I press. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. We'll get a 30 second rest here. We'll go back through 30, 30, 30 for the next two rounds. Starting in 20 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Right side. Get it up. Shoulders on top of the elbow. That helps to stay out of the neck. Four, three, two, one. Switch it up. Remember, we can always regress, go to our knees. We can always progress, raise the leg. I'm gonna stay right in the middle of the day. If this is too easy of a workout for you, it's a great warm up at, at best, or at worst, I guess you could say. If it's too much, the regressions are always great. Five. Four, three, two, one. All right, clean the press, 30 seconds. So up, down, press, one, two, three, four. Getting under it, pushing up, 10 seconds. Thirty-second break. One more time through. One more time through. Last round. Last round of the four by two. Middle of June here. Middle of June workout. Next thing you know, it'll be the Fourth of July. Starting up here in five, four, three, two, one. Get it up. Hips up, hips up, drive through my heels. Switching it up. Ten seconds. 
five, four, three, two, one. Let's get 10 of these. Let's not worry about the clock. Let's get 10 good ones in here. Clean to press. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Three more. Eight. Nine. And 10. Dodger fans, great work. Four by two. That was four circuits, two exercises, six minutes apiece, 24 minutes of work. That's great work on a hot day. We'll see you next time. Stay safe and stay active.